Hello friends, in today's video we are going to talk about how to manage a case of myxodema coma. Myxodema coma is a medical emergency. How it presents, you can remember it like everything is reduced, like reduced level of consciousness, patient presented with the drowsy or altered sensorium, reduced temperature means hypothermia, reduced pulse means bradycardia, reduced sodium means hyponatremia, reduced ventilation, hypoventilation, reduced glucose, hypoglycemia, reduced oxygen level, hypoxia. Patient can present with the seizure because it, it, it happened because of hyponatremia. Patient presented with the puffy face and puffy hands and feet. What are the precipitating factor for the myxodema coma? The most common one is the sepsis. The another one is pneumonia, CCF, congestive cardiac failure, MI, myocardial infarction, GI bleeding. Mostly, uh, myxodema coma occurs in a patient with the uncontrolled hypothyroidism or patient first time presented with the newly diagnosed hypothyroidism. Most of the time, uh, myxodema coma occurs in the elderly patient. Now, how to manage a case of myxodema coma? The most important treatment is levothyroxine T4. It given in the bolus dose like 200 or two, 200 or 400 microgram intravenously and from the next day we have to give 1.6 microgram per kg per day orally. If intravenous preparation is not available for the bolus dose, then we can also give the oral dose of the same oral uh, formulation for the same dose 200 to 400 microgram. Most of the time in myxodema coma, a T4 to T3 conversation is impaired. So we can directly give levothyronin T3 despite of its short half life. For the T3 levothyronin, the loading dose is 5 to 20 microgram and from the next day it should be followed by 2.5 to 10 microgram TDS because its uh, half life is short. So we have to give it 8 hourly. Now along with the T3 or T4, we have to give the some supportive therapy because patient presented with the hypothermia, so we have to give external warming. We can give IV hydrocot 50 mg 6 hourly. We have to give broad spectrum antibiotic to prevent the sepsis. We can also give ventilatory support if vital are deranged and patient presented with the hypoventilation. We have to correct the hyponatremia, hypoglycemia or other abnormalities.